Hey guys, my name is Aaron Bass, fitness manager for Fit Athletic, and this is your Workout Wednesday. For this week's Workout Wednesday, I'm going to be showing you my 10 favorite exercises using a TRX or a suspension trainer. A TRX is a great way to use body weight and gravity to build strength, coordination, flexibility, balance, core and joint stability. Now you probably don't have a TRX at home. Um, if you do, then of course you want to go ahead and use it. But if you don't, you want to refer to my video that I did yesterday about how to create a makeshift TRX at home using an old bed sheet. So as you see, I have a flat bed sheet here. Um, if you tune into that video that I did the other day, I'm going to show you how to turn this bed sheet into a TRX that you can use at home. When you're doing your TRX workout, I want you to focus on doing your sets for time. Start with 30 seconds, then move to 60 seconds, and eventually as you get more advanced, go to 90 seconds per exercise. I want you to pick four to six exercise and pour, perform them in a circuit fashion, one after the other with minimal rest in between. So with that being said, let's get started with the workout. All right guys, quickly before we start this workout, I just wanna show you how to progress or regress your exercise based on your uh, individual strength. So um, in general, when you're using the TRX, okay, it's important to know that the taller you're standing up, the easier the exercise is gonna be. And the farther your feet are, the harder the exercise is gonna be. Now, the other thing is, the closer your feet are, the harder it's going to be. The wider your feet are, the easier it's gonna be. So if you wanted a really, really easy uh, intensity, you're gonna have wide feet and you're gonna be really tall. If you want it to be much harder, you're gonna have your feet close and you're gonna be much lower underneath the handle. So use that as a rule of thumb when you're regulating your intensity. You can bounce in and out of positions whenever you feel it's most appropriate. Okay, so for your first exercise here, what we're gonna be doing is a row to an overhead press using the TRX. So simply grab the handles or the end of those bed sheets, grip it really, really tight like this on the sheets, or use the handles just like this. Okay, set yourself into that position that you're most comfortable for your intensity. And then from here, we're gonna fully extend out in front of us like this. Now, we're not just gonna be bouncing off and doing rows like this. Okay, I want you to be really tight and stable through the core and throughout the entire, entire total body. So make sure that in the setup position you have your shoulder blades retracted right here, squeezing your glutes and pulling your belly button down into your spine before you make that row. So for the first movement of this is you're gonna make a row here into your back and then making sure, checking in with your posture here, your glutes are tight, your rib is down, your shoulder blades are set. And once you're in this uh, fully contracted position for the row, you're gonna start the overhead press by taking your hands up over your head into this position and back down like you were doing an overhead press and then finishing up the row. Now, when you're doing that, make sure when you're pressing overhead that you're not seeing a hyperextension in that low back and you're really, as you're pressing overhead, trying to keep that core really, really tight. So that's exercise number one. So of my favorite exercises uh, using the TRX. So number two, we're gonna do a push-up pike, okay? so. If you have a TRX at home, we're gonna be using the stirrups right here. Um, if you're using the bed sheets at home, the two bottom parts of the sheet will be tied together, which will create a single stirrup. You can go ahead and do that. So what you're gonna do here for this exercise is you're gonna place your feet in the stirrups to start. Okay. And we're gonna have the legs suspended up behind the upper body, just like this. So we're gonna start in a push-up position, okay? And the start point here is the upper back, or shoulder blades is pulled all the way in, the rib is pulled down, belly button is pulled into the spine, the glutes are tight, and we begin to perform our push-up by dropping our chest to the floor, elbows moving at a 45 degree angle. Now from here, pressing through the palms of the hand and immediately hiking those hips all the way up to the ceiling to get into this pike position. Now you're gonna go ahead and return down without letting that low back collapse into the floor and make your next push up. And from here, directly into the pike. Big round back at the top, 
big squeeze in the abs until underneath. All right. So that's your push up to pike. Exercise number three, number three favorite, is the reverse fly, emphasizing the negative, okay? So in this position, I want you to figure out your foot space here, either wide or close, either tall or long, either way. Now from here, we're gonna go into a reverse fly, okay? So with those tight shoulder blades set behind your back, you're gonna pull the handles apart, bringing yourself into this upright position right here, okay? Now from this upright position, the next part of this is to fall backwards like this. So we're gonna emphasize the negative, which is what you see me doing here, which is really resisting gravity, which is pressing your body back to fall behind you, okay? So I'm not so concerned about this part. A lot of people cheat in this part, you know, they kind of fling themselves up, which is okay if you need to, because in this particular exercise, we're gonna focus on the negative. So do whatever you gotta to do to get yourself to the top, but then get ready to work on the way down. So it looks like this. Okay, as always, the core is braced, meaning the belly button is pulled into the spine, rib is pulled down, glutes are tight, shoulder blades are retracted. Okay, good. So, exercise favorite number three on the TRX, okay? Moving on, number four, we're gonna go into a leg exercise. Um, this is called a pistol squat. Pistol squat is traditionally done with body weight, but most people don't have the strength or mobility to be able to execute that with body weight. So using a TRX is a great way to assist yourself in learning or regress the pistol squat, okay? So first thing here, let's get the ankle set up directly underneath the hip, okay? We're doing this on one leg. So you're gonna point this toe out in front of you, the opposite side, okay? I want you to pull yourself into the handles here like you're doing a row, supporting your upper body with the shoulder blades, which are pulled tight behind you into your spine. Now from here, we're gonna descend toward the floor, focusing on hinging at the hip and letting the knee follow, okay? So first pressing that hip back, dropping our weight down into our heel, keeping this left leg extended out in front of us, trying to take that butt all the way down to the floor and sitting in this position. And then from here, driving through the heel, making sure the core is tight and returning back to stand, okay? And slowly repeating and pressing. Okay, this is a good one if you have a mirror off to the side or you wanna video yourself off to the side. It's important to keep the chest up and don't let yourself dip forward like this. You really wanna keep a tall chest here throughout all of your reps, okay? So obviously we're gonna be training both sides. So do one side and then go ahead and switch over to the other. My next favorite exercise on the TRX, TRX is called a body saw plank. So this one's kind of fun. In order to do it, you have to get back down on the floor here. You're gonna suspend your feet in the stirrups or on the bed sheet. Just get yourself set up like we did before. Now, instead of getting in a push-up position here, we're gonna be in a plank position, okay, on your forearms. So when you set up in a plank, it's really important to make sure that the elbow is directly under the shoulder right here. Otherwise, you're gonna have some shoulder pain after the exercise. Okay, so elbows directly under the shoulder, just like this. And get yourself into this position right here as you would in a plank. Pull that belly button up into your spine. Make sure your glutes are tight. Now, the body saw piece, okay? Without letting your hips sink down to the floor like this, I want you to press away from your fists and let your body push back from your hands just like you saw there. Now, every time you make a rep, when you push yourself back, you're gonna feel that core turn on more and more, which is the point here. So the body saw, right? You sort of emulate a sawing motion, moving back and forth, keeping those glutes tight, squeezing those abs so that your pelvis doesn't drop to the floor in between reps. 
Whoo! Body slap plank. Next favorite, okay? Flipping over on our butt. This is a hamstring curl. So in order to do the hamstring curl, we're gonna use these stirrups again, or you can use the bed sheet that's tied together. But either way, we wanna be suspending our feet, but this time, suspending them in front of us like this, putting our heels in the stirrup rather than the toe, okay? So from here, I want you to lay back, okay, into your start position, and you're gonna go ahead and get yourself up into a bridge by pressing those hands into the floor and pushing your hips up to the ceiling here. That way you're in this bridge position. Now, in order to make a hamstring curl, you need to curl your heels toward your butt. So when you do that, that's gonna pull your entire body toward the ceiling here, and that's fine. What you wanna be making sure of is that your core is tight, as always, and that the only thing moving is the movement here at the knee um, so that you're contracting your hamstrings as you pull in here. Again, try not to hyperextend that low back to pull yourself upward. I think that's a big tendency you gotta look out for. So into that bridge position, pulling those hamstrings in toward the butt, making sure that the low, low back is pushed down and the rib is tight here so that we're engaging our glutes and hamstrings and not our low back. And then return to that start position without breaking that bridge and pull those hamstrings in toward your butt for the desired amount of reps, okay? You can also do these single-legged too um, for a little bit extra challenge, okay? Next exercise, um, it's good for the pecs, it's good for the shoulders, it's good for the core, it's called a clock press. So when you're doing a clock press, you're gonna get back up here, you put your hands on the handles, or if you're using the sheet, you can grip the sheet here at the bottom um, you could wrap the sheet around your hands if you need a little bit more stability, something like a handle, um, that's no problem. But for a clock press, you're gonna get yourself here. Now the, the, the movement is done at the bottom of the rep right here. So you're gonna lower yourself into a push-up position and then this is what you're gonna maintain throughout your total amount of reps. The difference is you're gonna take one side, you're gonna reach it all the way out just like this until the arm is straight in line with the shoulder. Now in this position, you're gonna feel your core shaking, you're gonna feel your upper back and your rotator cuff shaking, and that's the point, okay? So allow that to happen. Slowly bring this hand back in to match the other side, and then alternate and switch sides back and forth until you hit your total desired reps. Keeping complete core stability throughout the entire set, okay? Good. So, clock press. Okay, whoo. Okay, next thing here is we're doing a single arm row with a rotation. So, I have bigger hands, so I like to grab both handles, but um, you really only need one side here. Um, but if you can grab two sides, you need a little bit more uh, support with two straps, that's perfectly okay. So, you're doing both rotation and you're doing a row here uh, for this particular exercise. But what's important is that you're doing the rotation here at the trunk and the torso and you're not twisting your feet around or anything like that. So um, to start this workout or this exercise, what I want you to do is take yourself all the way back, just like this, fully extend yourself all the way backward, okay? Now walk your feet closer if you need some more sport, but think of it like this, drawing a straight line between your fingertips, keeping those feet and toes dug into the floor, rotating open here at the trunk, and then simultaneously rotating to take this hand up to the strap while rowing and getting this elbow behind your back on this side. So it looks like this, and then slowly take yourself back, fully unravel your body, make sure those feet aren't rotating and they're pressed down, then pulling and reaching opening back up and pulling and reaching. Now, of course, we're gonna train both sides there as well. So, however many reps on both sides, then move on to your next exercise. Okay, from here, we're gonna move into the next favorite exercise, which is called a side plank reach through. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the side plank and we're going to suspend our body um, with our feet back in the stirrups. So, 
Get yourself back into position. Now, one side and the other, just like this. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky to get yourself into this position here, okay? So be careful. Might take a couple of tries, which is perfectly okay. So go ahead and again, place your forearm on the floor, except only the left side, and make sure that the forearm here is perpendicular with your body, okay? The elbow should be set up directly underneath the shoulder here. Now you're gonna prop yourself up into the suspended position, but then rotate yourself sideways into that side plank. Okay, you can stack your feet down here like this. You need a little bit more stability. But from here, you're gonna get yourself into this side plank, and then we're gonna rotate through and kind of thread the needle with this hand above us. So this is very difficult, so go very slowly, make sure your core stays engaged, and you're rotating the torso toward the floor so the belly button is placed toward the floor, reach all the way through, and then come all the way back up just like this. And we're gonna rotate all the way like this for your desired amount of reps, you're gonna do that on both sides. So, last but not least, my number 10 most favorite exercise on the TRX are front squats. How do you do a front squat on a TRX? Well, grab the handles just like this, grab the bed sheets just like this, okay? Now from here, you're gonna come all the way back down to that bottom of the push-up position, okay? And again, you're gonna stabilize yourself here throughout the entire exercise. Now, what's unique about doing front squats on the TRX is when you're squatting, you should be up here on your toes, okay? If you're on your heels, you're gonna engage more glutes and hamstrings, more of that posterior chain. But to make sure that we're engaging our anterior side or our front side, mainly the quads in this exercise, wanting to be up on your toes. So, Fix your feet into whatever intensity is most comfortable for you. Okay, spread those toes. Dig them down into the turf here. Make sure your upper back is really stable. Your core is really tight. And from here, we're going to squat down, allowing to, those knees to drive way out in front of the toes, and then stay on those tippy toes. And let's press ourselves forward, sort of in this explosive movement here, and start pumping blood into those quads. This is a really good way to isolate the quads directly. It's also a really good day to finish up your leg day um, if you're really trying to knock it out before you get out of the gym. So as you can see, I'm a little bit tired just by doing that demo. Thank you guys for following along. Remember when you program these exercises, put them all in succession. Um, challenge yourself to however many rounds you can do, four to six ideally. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the little bell on the bottom of the video if you want to see these videos every week. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.